9 Things Your Neck Can Tell You About Your Health A long neck has always been a sign of beauty and elegance. You can wear a pretty necklace or a garland of garlic to ward off old Dracula. Or maybe put on your favorite perfume. Your neck is more than just a thing of beauty. Under that supple skin are vertebrae. Vertebrae are small bones stacked up much like a layered cake. The layers, vertebrae to be exact, make up your neck and back. The spinal column is formed by stacking these on top of each other. The spinal column protects the spinal cord and supports your head. This is the main structure that connects your body's nerve network. Because of its location and range of motion, your neck is frequently left unprotected and vulnerable to injury. Neck pain can range from a minor annoyance to incapacitating chronic pain. In this video, we will count down 9 things your neck can tell you about your health. So let's get started. Number 1. You're stressed out. Had a bad day at work? Do you feel awful pressure in your neck? Then you're probably stressed. Stress can manifest itself in a variety of ways, such as tight muscles or headaches. When we are under prolonged stress, our bodies can hold tension in our neck and shoulder muscles, causing pain. Neck pain is a common symptom of chronic stress. When we're stressed, our muscles tense up, causing more pain and discomfort. Tension headaches are also possible. We advise you to take your mind off the stress through meditation. Applying heat to the affected area also helps. If all else fails, take a nap. Number 2. Acanthosis nigricans Obese people and those with diabetes are more likely to develop the condition. Acanthosis nigricans is characterized by dark, thick skin on the neck. The skin may have a velvet-like texture. This condition can appear suddenly, but is not contagious and generally does not pose a risk to anyone's health. When a person has chronically high insulin levels, they may develop hyperpigmented areas on the neck, particularly on the back of the neck. This is a common occurrence in women with polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. A doctor will determine the cause of a black neck by examining the neck visually and conducting some tests to rule out underlying causes, like blood sugar or hormone level test. A skin scraping or biopsy can also be performed to determine the presence of fungal cells. Acanthosis nigricans can occasionally indicate a more serious underlying medical condition, such as stomach or liver cancer, so it's best to bring it to your doctor's attention. Number 3. Polymyalgia Algia rheumatica, or PMR. This is a muscle inflammatory condition. It mostly affects people over the age of 65. Patients usually feel pain in the middle or on either side of their neck, but it may also spread to their shoulders or upper chest. They may experience arm pain or weakness along with tension headaches, in which the pain travels to the back of the head and occasionally into the ear or behind the eye. Moving the neck may be painful and the muscles may feel tight, especially if they've been sitting or sleeping in one position for a long time. Patients may notice their neck does not turn as far as it normally does. Simple tasks like reversing the car or trying to look over the shoulder becomes very painful. If you have pain and stiffness in your neck that started suddenly, possibly overnight, and you have difficulty lifting both your arms over your head, you may have polymyalgia rheumatica, or PMR. Number 4. Cervical stenosis or nerve compression Cervical stenosis occurs when the spinal canal narrows and compresses the spinal cord, and is most commonly caused by aging-related degeneration. The spinal discs that separate and cushion the vertebrae may dry out. As a result, the space between the vertebrae narrows and the discs lose their ability to absorb shock. At the same time, the spine's bones and ligaments become less pliable and thicken. The spinal canal narrows as a result of these changes. The degenerative changes associated with cervical stenosis can affect the vertebrae by promoting the growth of bone spurs, which compress the nerve roots and it's quite painful. Number 5. Poor Posture Poor posture has been shown to aggravate neck pain by putting strain on the muscles and ligaments that support the neck. Our posture is frequently taken for granted. Bad posture can be a cause of neck strain over time. The most common cause of poor posture which contributes to neck pain is head and shoulders forward posture. Poor posture harms your overall health and quality of life. It is more than just how impressive good posture appears. Poor posture can cause back, neck, and muscle pain over time. While it may be difficult to change bad habits, it is worth the effort because it can relieve and prevent chronic pain. Number 6. Cervical Spondylosis or Arthritis of the Neck Cervical spondylosis refers to age-related wear and tear on the spinal discs in your neck. Cervical spondylosis can cause a narrowing of the spinal canal within the vertebrae. The spinal canal is the space between the vertebrae through which the spinal cord and nerve roots travel to reach the rest of the body. As the discs dehydrate and shrink, osteoarthritis symptoms emerge, such as bony projections along the edges of the bones. Cervical spondylosis is a common condition that worsens with age. Cervical spondylosis affects more than 85% of people over the age of 60. The majority of people have no symptoms. When symptoms do appear, they typically include neck pain and stiffness. If the spinal cord or nerve roots are pinched, one may experience tingling in the arm, hand, leg, or foot, 
numbness or weakness, walking difficulties, and a lack of coordination with bladder or bowel control problems. Number 7. Neck Cancer a lump in the mouth or jaw is a common symptom of head and neck cancer. A lump in the neck could be an indication of thyroid cancer. It could also be caused by an enlarged lymph node. Common types of head and neck cancers include mouth cancer and salivary gland cancer. There is swelling in one or more lymph nodes in the neck. Lumps that appear and disappear are not usually caused by cancer. Cancer typically manifests as a lump that grows over time. A head and neck tumor that affects the jaw's bones, muscle, or nerves can make it difficult to open your mouth. The average person can open their mouth about three fingers wide. Consult your doctor if you're having difficulty opening your mouth this wide. Number 8. Herniated Cervical Disc A herniated disc happens when the gel-like center of a spinal disc ruptures through a weak spot in the tough outer wall, much like the filling of a jelly donut. When the disc material touches or compresses a spinal nerve, it can cause neck or arm pain, numbness, or tingling. The first step towards recovery is rest, pain medication, spinal injections, and physical therapy. Most people recover in six weeks and can resume normal activities. If the symptoms persist, surgery may be advised. Number 9. Goiter Goiter is a fairly common condition. It affects approximately 5% of the population. Iodine deficiency is the most common cause of goiter worldwide, affecting an estimated 2.2 billion people. Goiter is a condition in which your thyroid gland enlarges and is visible to the naked eye. The thyroid may become larger as a whole, or it may develop one or more small lumps known as thyroid nodules. The thyroid gland is a small, butterfly-shaped endocrine gland in the neck, just below the Adam's apple. It is responsible for the production of hormones thyroxine and triiodothyronine. These hormones play a role in certain bodily functions, which are metabolism, the temperature of the body, mood, heart rate, and digestion. Generally, neck pain can be avoided by strengthening the upper body muscles. When the muscles between the shoulder blades are weak, the muscles at the top of the shoulders and the neck become overactive. This causes them to overcompensate and become extremely tight and sore. You can do exercises with small hand weights to strengthen these muscles. Speak to a physiotherapist about which exercises are best for you. Consider what other aspects of your lifestyle may be contributing to your lack of sleep. You could also consider whether you have a good pillow that properly supports your neck. How about you support our channel like your neck supports your head and give us a like and keep watching your screen for even more informative content.